hello ladies welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another video dedicated to breaking all the natural hair rules in 2018 and this video we're going to be talking about sulfate free shampoos or sulfate shampoos so if you're interested in this video just stay tuned and we'll get right into it it's not one video I discussed how in the natural hair community everybody is told not to use hair grease on the hair of any sort because it's really bad for your hair it clogs up your pores and all that stuff and to my surprise I found that a lot of people commented and let and to let me know that they did use hair grease on their hair or they went back to using hair grease on their hair or they was going to consider trying it again because what I said in the video made sense or it just brought things into perspective for them so i'm very happy that my point got across to everyone because i was like i am going to get cussed out for this but i really did like that everybody commented and you know let me know that they were using it or i wasn't the only one who thought that hair grease was you know good for my hair so for this video i'm going to talk about sulfate shampoos and sulfate free shampoos so basically not like a versus but which one should you use based off of your hair type and texture and all that stuff and this is going to be solely up to you i'm not telling you that any type of hair is supposed to use uh sulfate free or sulfate like i'm not going to say anything like that but i am going to give you the specs on these on these two different types of shampoos so you can make the decision for yourself based off of how your hair is so the first thing I want to say is that just because you are natural or returning natural, that does not mean that you do not need to use or shouldn't use sulfate free shampoo. Okay, so in order to figure out if you need sulfate free or sulfate shampoo, you kind of have to get into the chemical makeup of shampoos in general. And a lot of people, most people, I didn't even really want to get into the chemical makeup because it's a whole bunch of fancy words and chemicals and stuff like that that you have to do extra research on to figure out well, what does this do and what does that do. But I did that for you all because I love you so I did that I got into the chemical uh, makeup of shampoos so that we have a better understanding on which one is best for whichever type of hair or for your hair because you're going to make the decision um, for yourself but in general shampoos had two um, binding agents and for those binding agents one of them um, basically attaches to the dirt and oil to capture the dirt and oil in your hair or on the hair follicle and stuff like that and the other binding agent attaches to water so those two together works together to capture and rinse out any uh dirt and oil that you do have in your hair and that is just shampoo and shampoo in um general like that's just generally what shampoo does and the reason why we have two different types of shampoos which will in this sense we're talking about sulfate and sulfate free shampoos is because of the different types of hair Sulfate shampoo is intended for oily hair, so the detergents binding agents are strong to capture um, dirt and oil. Sulfate free shampoos are uh, for dry hair, which is why the detergents binding agents are usually reduced so that it will not further dry out your hair. So based on your hair type and hair porosity, that will kind of help you determine if you should or shouldn't use sulfate shampoo or sulfate free shampoos. And like I said before, we're always told that sulfate-free shampoos are better, it's more healthier for your hair and all that stuff, but that's not necessarily true, and here's the reason why. Sulfate-free shampoos don't have good cleansing properties, but they do have good conditioning properties. So for those hair types that are that tend to be more dry or on the dry side, on the coarser side, you don't really want to have something that is um, drying out your hair. So the intent for shampoo, sulfate shampoo is that it won't dry your hair but it will add in extra moisture and softness and make it more manageable and uh, prevent breaking and stuff but for sulfate shampoos or uh, shampoos that contain sulfate it has great cleansing properties but it's not great for conditioning your hair so for those hair types and textures that are more on the oily side and stuff like that you need uh, that cleansing property in order for your hair to remove or for you to remove all of that oil and dirt and all that stuff out of your hair. But regardless of whichever shampoo or type of shampoo you use, whether it's sulfate free or contains sulfate, you're going to have to use some type of deep cleanser of some sort or a cleanser of some sort if you're styling your hair. So if you add in oils, natural hair oils or hair creams and sprays and leave-in conditioners and all those things, 
that is going to require you, regardless of what type of hair you have or what type of shampoo and conditioner you use, to use some type of cleanser. So that basically means that at some point you may have to use sulfate, although there are there are other options out there. Okay, so I did some research to find out what are the most common chemicals that are used or products that's used in sulfate uh, shampoos and sulfate-free shampoos. And I also have a few examples of these. I'm going to read them off of the label to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, so the products that you should see first is water and then whatever the chemical is after water is what will help you determine if you should or should not buy that shampoo when it comes to your hair type and texture about. So in general, for sulfate free shampoos, the first product after water should be seracosine, if I'm saying that correct. I'll have it uh, somewhere on the screen. And um, so seracosine, so that should be the first one. It's not a sulfate at all. It's more of a conditioning property. Based off of the information that I found, it's a conditioning property and this is what it's used in conditioning shampoos and um, sulfate free shampoos and what's the other one? Conditioning shampoos, sulfate uh, free shampoos and dry hair shampoos because it has excellent condition conditioning properties. So Seracosine is one of those products that, ha that has excellent conditioning properties. So if this uh, product is in your um, shampoo, sulfate free or not, then you should uh, pretty much get this if you have dry hair or coarser hair. Um, so I have an example of sulfate free shampoo and it's Carol's daughter is the black vanilla um sulfate free it's in this bottle it's wiped off on the front sorry about that but you kind of you know what i'm talking about okay so the first product in this which is should be seracosin after water and it's not so the first two ingredients are water and i don't know how to say this disodium something something sulfa cuconate i'll have that uh pop up on the screen so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to butcher it, butcher it and then we all be looking crazy. But yeah, it's not seracosine at all. This is something that looks like sulfate in a, in a sulfate free shampoo. Okay, that kind of confuses me. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is look up this ingredient to see what it is. It's another one. I got that juice, juice. new AP. AP. She got that juice, juice, juice. She got that squeeze, She got that wet, wet. I'm on them skis. I got that drip, drip. I'm overseas. B R I P P I N G. I got that V V S I C E. I looked up the uh, the uh, product, the chemical, whatever it is, the product that um this product right here and um it says that it's not a sulfate at all but after doing more research and i went to this medical page where it has a list of um common sulfates and um that's found in shampoos it was under there well the last portion of it was under there so the sulfa cuconate i guess that's how you say it that part was a part of sulfates so Although it's telling me that it's not a sulfate, according to the medical information information and research, it is. So, I don't know how Carol's daughter is considered a sulfate-free shampoo if it has sulfate. And, yeah. So, that's a scam. It's not sulfate-free. So, I'm guessing that if you have any sulfate-free products that has disodium, whatever, whatever this is, um, yeah, you might not want to buy that if... You know you have dry hair well not even if you have dry hair but if you're you have dry hair and you're trying to prevent from drying your hair out even further it kind of makes sense now because when i use this my hair would feel really rough and dry for whatever reason and i could not figure out why that was but it did it felt terrible which is why i stopped using it i just never threw it away or anything i don't know what to do with this but it's terrible like it really was terrible and um yeah it dried out my hair just like really any other cheap shampoo could do so that kind of makes sense now because it actually contains sulfate even though it says sulfate free okay so moving on um i have <clears throat> do grow mega thick i think everybody should know what this is 
do grow. And the first ingredient in here is water, and the next one is sodium lurase sulfate. So it has sulfate, of course. And um, this shampoo it says it's for uh, <clears throat> thickening, and it has a thick a, a thickening formula to it. So I'm not sure which one of those products is for the thickening part, but of course. This is, you know, it has sulfate in it. Like, it, it doesn't uh, tell you that it's sulfate-free, so you have to assume that it contains sulfate. And I don't really have problems with this drying out my hair, actually, at all. Like, it does amazing when it comes to keeping my hair soft and manageable. I never had a problem with this one. And I also have another example. You remember these. And the first ingredient is water and sodium lurate sulfate. So it's the same exact product as the uh, Dugro. So this one also has sulfate in it, as you know. And it says it quenches, quenches your hair and softens, which it does. So typically, well, based off of the information and research that I found, using this, your hair should be dried out. But my hair has never been dried out with this ever. Like, ne like never. Like, never never like the shampoo actually if you just shampooed your hair and went about your business you probably would be fine like that's how well it does and it moisturizes and softens your hair okay so just to try to recap and make sure you have everything if you are supposed to use or if you find that you're going to use sulfate free shampoos then the first product after water should be seracosine it's for conditioning in your hair and making sure that it uh, adds in moisture to prevent further drying your hair. So Seracosin was is good if you see it in sulfate shampoo as one of the first three or four uh, products that or ingredients that is in the sulfate free shampoo. If you find that you can use um, sulfate shampoos or if sulfate shampoos don't really uh, have a bad reaction to your hair, then really any of sulfate any sulfate product will work um to my knowledge now if now if you do find several coasting in your sulfate shampoos then that is good because that means that it will cleanse your hair and also condition your hair at the same time so you basically have the best of both worlds in uh shampoo now they do try to do that with conditioning shampoos but i'm finding that they do still kind of not cleanse your hair to you know the best that it can so it's kind of best to buy sulfate shampoos that are also conditioning because that will work better than trying to buy sulfate free shampoos like i said it's like adding lotion to your body without using soap like what's the point all right, ladies, I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me down below if this uh, information really helps you out and if you are using sulfate-free shampoo or sulfate shampoo. I'll see you guys in the next one. With the disappearing roof. I have packs, I got plaques. You get tax for the juice. If you ask, you get facts. I'm in sex with your boo. I got that juice.